a young woman, I was too excitable, <laughs> too nervous. I couldn't settle myself down, I didn't sit. I started meditating in 1980 in December, so that's quite a few years ago. I decided to try meditating and I tried it on my own. I would make a challenge to myself to meditate for 10 minutes. Lars and I went to Sri Lanka and it was there in Asia that I first saw the Buddhist sculpture and the architecture. And it hit me hard. I really was impressed by it. I got turned on to Buddhism through sculpture. In Japan, they have the story of the Buddha. Lars and I started reading the story of the Buddha to each other out loud. The emptiness of all five conditions and was freed of pain. Form is no other than emptiness, emptiness no other than form. For me, it was like reading the truth. Buddhism has influenced my creativity. I've painted many images inspired by the teachings. Meditation is concentration, and that helps me in my work to be able to focus myself. Watercolor is at least focusing and focusing on what you see. I created sculptures. So meditation has allowed me to be able to concentrate, focus myself. This is the Sky Museum, where we have great dinners together with friends, good light for painting. Should I explain what I'm doing? Sure. Okay. Every month I create a new painting every day, and every month I choose a subject for that month. For example, one month inspired by Brad Beldner, I chose chickens. He likes chickens and he visits a house in Santa Clara. In Los Altos. Los Altos that adopts elderly chickens. So then I decided, hey, chickens might be a good idea for the month. And what I like to do is create a list of idioms, expressions, uh, phrases, things that are more than just bantam. I like to also use landscapes, so I try to put my idioms and expressions to happen in a landscape or with a landscape. This is the month of March. I create my list and then Every day I pick one phrase or expression, like this is Little Red Rooster, and I put him in a Tuscan landscape. Which came first? This little chicken is checking out his egg on a beach in Maui. Crossing the road, and these three guys are crossing the road at Foothills Park. This is Mother Hen, and I put her on a lotus leaf. This is a spring chicken. And here I use collage. I like to do mixed media. All your eggs in one basket. For you Palo Alto people, this is the Stanford dish. Cock of the walk. And here we're back in Foothill Park for a hen party. I'm a member of a writing group. Every week we write, but I paint. The prompt that evening was Faith. 
So I did a Madonna and Child as a hen and her chick. Early bird, that's dawn at the Baylands. In Foothill Park again, laying an egg. This is cracked up. Rooster tail, cocktail. Uh, this is um, flew the coop. I was inspired by the feral chickens in Maui, and so I put him over the ocean in Maui. Cockfight. I was thinking Mexico Southwest, so I put them in uh, maybe Sedona <laughs> or Scottsdale. Is a little red hen. Chicken out. There's a chicken thinking about going surfing, but not really. And finally, inspired by the tulips and the flowers at Filoli, I did Peep, little cheeky. And that's one month. Now I'm thinking of doing house furniture. Well, the first one I thought of was recliner. What I immediately think is gorgeous nude reclining in a landscape, which turns me on. And then I use Brewer's Dictionary of Phrases and Fables. This is Monday, so Monday's Child. They just have all these references to Monday. And then the other thing I do is trusty old Google. I Google idiot expressions using furniture vocabulary. And then I look through them and I see if anything turns me on. Darken one's door sounds good. Bring it to the table. Memory like a sieve. That's a good one. Okay, I've got 29. So I have one for every day this month. Thinking about a reclining person. So we look for where would we put that person? I don't know. She's not reclining on a puddle. Or she could be reclining in a flower. She could recline on a lily pad. Okay, so there's this bed of flowers, and here's her legs, and then the hands here. Do I like that? In watercolor, you go from light to dark. That's just gonna be a problem. Well, see, let me. This one. It's the beginning of the month of February in which I took the theme of objects and I painted a, obviously, a reclining woman in a field in Italy, in Tuscany. This one has toadstools. The mushroom I used is the Amanitas. Mm, this is um, something new. Toothpaste. Waking up. It's a, a landscape from a photo that I took at Stanford. Bookends, inspiration, tablecloth, this is a waterbed, lizard, the hills in back of Lake Boranda, saw this giant iguana there. Uh, this is um, a takeoff on Madame Recame, except I substituted sweet potato, Madame Sweet Potato Recame. Lay on the table. Love seat. Well, I guess vinyl's coming back now. Turntables. This is be part of the furniture in the oven. It's a casserole landscape. And this is plain and tools. Clean sheets. Mind like a sieve. Oops. Chest of drawers. Cutting the rug. Music. When I was little, we had a player piano and brought back memories. It's a racing car. <laughs> and then sure. here's uh, the final one, uh, lobster. And I took the liberty of using a landscape a la Georgia O'Keeffe. 